Hello everyone, today I'm doing a general tarot card reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising signs for the month of August 2019 and I'm using the Ellen Dugan tarot deck called Witch's Tarot. So what do we have for the sign of Leo for August? Okay, the first card is the Two of Swords. The second card is the Page of Cups. Third card is the Fool card. Fourth card is the Page of Pentacles. Bottom card is the Nine of Swords. All right. Okay, we have one major arcana. We have the Fool card. So something has ended or is about to end, and you're on the verge of beginning something brand new. And um, it's obviously got you worried. Sleepless nights thinking of all the things that could go wrong. So you may resist. You may resist making a choice. I feel like you have it to make a choice um, between two things, two people, you know, whatever it is. You're at a crossroads here. So the universe is forcing this decision. You will have to make a decision and you know you will have to make a decision. So that's why you're worried. You're stressed out. And um, it could be that you received a message if this is a romantic relationship, it could be that, like a love relationship, it could be that you received a message of love from someone, and now you have to make a choice whether to accept this new beginning or not, perhaps. With the page of pentacles, two pages here, so it could be that um, you received, some of you may receive or will be receiving some a solid offer for a new beginning. You may be proposed to. That's a possibility for some of you. The Page of Pentacles is very tangible. You can hold it in your hands. So you may receive a token of love in the form of a gift along with uh, expressions of love. So that's a possibility. It could also mean that with this new beginning, you have to learn how to, um, how to move forward in a new way. Um, how to start all over again, which involves your physical reality. Like for some of you, you may have to move to be with this person. You may have to uh, learn how to do things differently in your world. You know, when you bring somebody into your life, everything changes. It can be very stressful because it's new, you've become comfortable with your situation, whatever that is. But it, even though there's a lot of stress here, it could be also very enjoyable with the Page of Cups. You may be filled with emotions, like an exciting and nervous um, anticipation, not knowing 
because with the two swords here, see she's sitting on this stone platform, very solid base here. It's like a number four, very structured. Behind her is the water and mountains and the moon. So to, to accept this love, the water here with the page of cups, see? means that you have to step out of your comfort zone. This could be you here in the ways. You're worried that you might get too swept away. Then you'll lose your control over your world. Even the fool here, you see, is on a, the edge. And she's on the, on the stone platform there. So, wow, this month of August will require you to try and get as much sleep as you can. You know, take chamomile tea or melatonin or whatever, you know, healthy thing you can do to help you sleep. You'll need your sleep because you'll need to really tap into your heart. What What is good for you? What you need? What will... Um, what will you choose? Choose your happiness. But you also need to have some stability. But then again, with the Fool card, it does involve a leap of faith. So you really need to tap into your um, intuition, your gut feeling, your heart. Um, to know, to find the answers. The answers lie within you. The answer lies within you. So, you have a little bit of a dilemma here. I wouldn't say it's bad, you know. In any case, with the fool, whether you decide or not, the universe will decide for you if you don't make the decision. So make the decision that feels right for you in this moment and then take action before, before time runs out and the decision on the way forward is made for you because I feel like somebody's going to push you over. The universe will push you over and at least if you make a decision, then you have some idea of how to proceed. Wow. Big month for Leo, some of you Leo signs, I think. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Also, you may be traveling here. That might be part of it. It might all be part of it, too. So, um, yeah, I just got that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you for the following read. Bye for now.